Hi guys! Today I want to show you how you can easily mix textures together to avoid annoying visible texture repeatments and make everything more believable if we have more variation in our material. And at the end we will also add some imperfections to the wall with a simple geometry node setup. So let's go! Here are the four textures we want to use and if I select our wall and then append the first texture as you can see, it's way too huge and it's normal because if we stretch a single texture over a huge object, it normally doesn't work. So we would have to scale it up like five times in this case. Yeah, this would be good. But then as you can see, we have our repeatments in the wall. And to avoid this, as I said, we will mix different textures together. And for that, we uh, can now select our second texture. And here we will copy only the textures, the principal BSDF, the normal map node and the displacement node. Um, so just press Ctrl C to copy it. Then we go back to wall one again, then control V. Um, here we put the textures under the uh, first textures. Then we can put the mapping nodes a bit down and connect it also to our other textures so that we can control with only one mapping node or textures. Um, yeah, perfect. Here we have the material output node. Um, yeah, and to mix the um, two principal BSDFs, we can use a simple mix shader node. Uh, then we connect it also with the other principled BSDF. And for the displacement nodes, we can use a mix color node. Put it here. Then the first displacement we connect to A, the second to B, and the result to displacement. Perfect. And for the factor of the mix shader nodes, we can use a color ramp node and also a noise texture node. Then we have to connect the factor to the factor and the color of the color ramp to the factor. Uh, it's so small to the factor of the mix shader node and also to the factor of the mix color node. All right. And now you can put the sliders more to the middle to have more contrast and to see it better. And if we play a little bit with the scaling, as you can see, here is the mix of our different textures and so we can avoid the repeatment. Um, I would leave it uh, to 10, I would say. And then you can also play with the sliders, but um, I just want to have a, a very low contrast. All right. Now we want to mix even more textures together and for that we can put these textures in a group first. So just select everything then press Ctrl G. Here we don't need the group input and we also don't need the material output. Um, yeah, we can connect the mix shader and the uh, mix color node to the group output. We can also uh, select it and then press N to get the side panel. 
and under group we can rename uh, the result to um, displacement because it's for the displacement socket and the shader also to uh, color. Perfect. Then we can uh, press tab to go out and then press shift D to duplicate it and then tap again to go in. And here we have to replace it just with the other texture files. So make it with your textures and I will see you shortly. Before you start, keep in mind that you have to click on the number to make a single user copy. Otherwise, you would also change the textures of the first group. Okay, I replaced everything and be aware that you use another scaling for the second noise texture so that you don't have the same pattern for the second group. Um, if you have done everything, you can go out. And now we of course need a new material output node. And then also a mix uh, shader node again. And a mix color node. All right, then we connect the color to the first shader and here to the second shader. And this one we connect to the surface. Then the first displacement to A, the second to B. And the result to the displacement. And now we wait till the shaders are compiled. Perfect. Now you can play with the factor. Okay. Yeah, I think we can leave it to 0.5 for now. And I, or uh, maybe 0.7, then we have to say 0.7 for the mix color node also. All right. And now what we can also do, we can put um, a hue saturation value in between the base color node and the principal BCF um, if you want to change the brightness of the texture or also the saturation. So in my case, I want to make it a bit brighter. So I can set it to two. Yeah, perfect. Here, we can also put this node in between and also set it to two. Perfect. Yeah, and I think this looks already pretty nice. And now it's time to add some imperfections to our wall. And for that, we first go to the geometry node editor click on new we can call this bumps all right then i would recommend to go to solid mode to see the bumps better and the first node we need is a set position node then we need a multiply node so search for math node and set it to multiply. And we also need a color ramp node and a noise texture. Now we connect the effector to the factor, the color to the upper value and the value to the offset. And basically what we do is we just partially change the offset with the noise texture and so we get pretty good bumps. Um, first of all, here we set it to something like 0 0.02, okay. Um, with the color ramp, 
um, especially with the black slider, you can control how much bumps you want. So as you can see, um, here we have only a few bumps and if we put the slider to the left again, then we get more bumps. But what we want is, uh, we don't want too much bumps, so maybe 0.6 is good. And we also crank up the scale to something like 10. All right. Yeah, and I think this already looks pretty good. So here's the final render. I'm very happy with the result and I hope you liked it too. Um, yeah, if so, then please leave a comment or like below and thanks for watching and see you soon.